well many GCAD Plus drafters have come from an AutoCAD background and they bring with them a lot of tools and approaches to drawing which can lead to very slow drafting. Let's take the example of a lawned area and you can see here if I select in that lawned area there's a, a hatch here and then there's some colour behind and so on. So the approach to doing this sort of thing would be say draw a polyline like that then they would select the polyline and apply a hatch to it so now if we drag across those two there are two we've made two we've drawn a polyline applied a hatch to it it's in the solid hatch and we now swing to let's we now to apply a color to that hatch so let's select there so we've still got two entities we've got a polyline the original polyline and now a hatch a hatch which we've applied a color to and finally we can apply on top of the hatch or the polyline another hatch pattern and if we now look in here we've got two hatch patterns and a polyline and in GCAT Plus there's no need to do that sort of work if we if we copy our polyline and hatch and so on across and put it down there and let's zoom in on it let's let's remove the so the hatch pattern and the solid hatch so we're left with just a polyline all we need to do is apply a color to it and then set the fill on and we're done there's the lawned area haven't got the color exactly the same so it's only one entity it's just the polyline with a fill approach and to adjust the, the color you could even pick that color and apply some transparency to it if you wanted a less dense or different color lawn like so and it's rather a silly example but you wouldn't want to see through it but it now has some transparency and if we move it across the corner of the property can you see you can see through that zone it's rather a silly example but in uh, GCAD plus version 10.5 we can apply a gradient so all we need is the polyline the color it's one entity and we can come down here and say I want a point gradient type and we can set two colors for the gradient so we get a whitish area and darkish on the side and that's shown I think to good effect here where we've done just that with the wetland so it's one entity only one polyline unlike the complex series of steps that you have to go through if you are working the AutoCAD way so we make a plea for just trying out some of these features in GCAD Plus.